All right, guys. Ready when you are. I am so glad you guys are all on the call tonight. I am very excited about this call. This is a huge passion of mine. I've been diving into the social media with Jim Lufkin for the last nine months, uh, and I've, I've learned a lot. I'm going to give you as much as I possibly can give you, but it's not everything. So uh, real quick, he does open up this platform. Damon's been doing this platform. Joey, you've done the platform. Uh, Jill, I think you have the books. Mary Kay, Kristen, I think you guys have the books and have done the platform. Yeah. Um, yeah. The books are now gone. I, I think I may have like four or five more books left. If you guys want books, let me know. Um, but really, we're truly using his university platform. And so I want to explain the platform. Right now, it's available for a dollar. He's just about ready to get rid of that. You do sign up for a monthly plan. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what that means. But um, we'll give you as much as we possibly can. But know that you want to the platform let's go ahead and if you guys don't mind muting now i'll help with that go ahead and, and mute your phone if you don't mind oh my internet's a little slow i'm not sketchy am i you guys hear me okay okay all right good um so you you do want to take a look at the platform and what i did to really truly learn it the best way possible is i had my computer up watching the videos, going through the information and the training, and then my other computer, laptop, surface, whatever you have, phone, whatever it is, um, I had, or oh, you can't do your phone, sorry. Um, I had that up so that I could learn it and do it all at the same time. And I have found that that was the best way because who's gonna remember or have the time to go back after you learn something? You wanna just get it done. And the whole point of Jim's program is to get stuff done fast. So let me give you a little bit of background on Jim. We're gonna jump right into what he has designed and then I'm gonna give you guys a ton of nuggets and I'm gonna share my live Facebook with you. So hopefully you can all see me and see the screen when I bring that up. If not, try to get on because you're gonna to wanna to watch that. Um, so let me also get off of, I don't want, I want Galley View. There we go, but we want Stephanie. Cool. All right, should be good now. Um, okay. Oh, nope. Sorry. There we go. Let's do that. All right. So real quick background. Jim Lepkin has been a social media guru for 22 years. He's 40 years old. Most of you don't even know that social media has been in existence that long, but it really truly has. He was actually going to start a Facebook um, at the same time that Mark Zuckerman, of course, took it, ran with it and made it what it is. So he kind of dived in and went along with that, with MySpace and then Facebook and everything else that has come in. Um, so he knows anything and everything about Facebook. They study it every day. That's all they do. He brought it into his network marketing that he started. And, and Roger and Lucas, you guys will appreciate this. He started his network marketing at 19 years of age. And he studied, studied under Mark Yarnell, who if you study him at all, he's a huge, huge, huge guru in the network marketing business. So a lot of our information is stemming from that. Um, Jim has sold over $400 million in sales himself. And so just to kind of give you an idea, when you're following this program, that's who you're following. And again, he's 40 years old of age right now. So it's all met with a younger person's perspective of everything. Uh, what he started off with was a best-selling book. It's still available on Amazon. And I, like I said, I have about five copies left. But he has transferred it to... Um, over to an online university program. Some people think that the program's a little slow. Some people get some information out of it and some people don't. Here's the thing, what you need to know about this program is the way Jim does everything is he teaches you every single step. So no matter where you are with social media, Facebook, online, uh, the internet, anything like that, you are going to learn every little thing. So I myself was very much of a skeptic when he reached out to me. And when he reached out to me, he was doing his exact same program that he teaches and he still does today. And that's reaching out to 30 people a day. He's just trying to find out who is interested, fill his funnel with who is interested. And as soon as they have a need for his program, they fall through the funnel. Same exact thing with what we're doing. We're just reaching out to massive numbers of people, finding out who has an interest, put them in our funnel, and then as soon as we have what they need, they fall through the funnel and become a customer or associate. 
So that's exactly what this program is. So he reached out to me, told me about his program. I'm like, dude, I already know so much about Facebook. Um, I'm pretty well educated. I've built 75% of my multi six figure income using Facebook. I don't know what you're going to teach me. But at the same time, I knew I needed something different and I knew I kind of wanted to restart a lot of what I already had going on and I needed someone to, to take me to do that. So he reached out again, same part of his program, which is called communication and conversation. And that's the follow up. Hey, Sarah, so glad you're on today. Um, congratulations on your baby, by the way. Yay! Another ISA baby in the room. Um, so he reached out to me doing a follow-up just like he does with the platform. But on both scenarios, when he's reaching out to me, I felt special. I felt like he truly was connecting with me. He was watching me. He researched me. He really, truly wanted to be a part of my business, and he wanted me to be a part of his business. That is what I felt. And so that is what he teaches. Granted, he's copy-paste, copy-paste, copy-paste with some personal stuff, but that's exactly what we're teaching people so that you can have massive numbers use the tools that isogenics already has in place and we have so many things already in place there's no need to recreate any wheel whatsoever if you really truly want to make a huge difference in this world um, you make as many physically fit people as possible and you yourself want to become financially stable and, and have that freedom and help other people to do that that's what we're trying to teach here is just follow these programs, do the steps, don't think about anything else, don't recreate anything, just reach out to people, fill your funnel, when they have an interest, they will fall through, put them in all the tools that Isogenics and Game Changers has to offer, and then coach them, make sure they have a great 30 days, and then teach them how to use the rest of those tools so that they know exactly what to do. Meanwhile, you're still reaching out to 10, 20, 30 people in a day, every day. And so that is what this program is. And I'm going to go through it as much as fast as I possibly can. But I just wanted to give you kind of the breakdown on how that works. So again, with the platform, the uni university platform, if you haven't done that yet, it's a $1 trial offer for 30 days. And then you go month to month. And you can either do it annually and pay $119 for the annual program, $500 for a lifetime, or uh, I don't remember the amount, but it comes out, so, so annual is $10 a month, $15 a month if you buy the six month program up front, or $20 a month if you're just going month to month. You always have the option to cancel, you can always stop it at any time, but he continuously teaches us about Facebook, and there's so much to learn. They have also thrown in the Great Discovery, which is a part of Six Sigma, so that's a personal development program. Very much like Growth You, but on a whole different perspective. And what I have found with the Six Sigma program is it's very deep, it's extremely deep. Not that Growth You is not deep, but they're just two different things. Um, to the point where I really had a lot of confusion about it. And as much personal development as I have done, I'm like, Jim, this is confusing. It doesn't make sense. Help me out. I need a private coaching. <laughs> um, so it's going to really take your thoughts to a place where you may not have really known that they've existed. And when you really know yourself and when you really know other people, there's nothing stopping you. So it's really pretty incredible as to what has done. The reason why these two companies have come together, for one, the uh, founder of the Six Sigma is friends with Jim, but he realized that what Jim is doing with social media is exactly what he was doing with Six Sigma. Six Sigma is not this man, it's uh, Dr. Michael Harry. It's not his program, he just created the concept and created the fundamentals so that people could understand it. It's been around forever, it's being used by all kinds of um, Fortune 100 companies, actually it's being used by 87 of the Fortune 100 companies, including American Express, Motorola, I think Discover Credit Card, and there's several others. So it's, it's a program that really does take people there. So let's get started with the Facebook. Um, and, and I'll give you guys the code at the end of this so you can all jump on. 
All right, so first of all, um, when you're a part of Isogenics and you go to any of our conventions and meetings, we're going to talk Facebook. That is one way I've gotten so educated on Facebook and social media, let alone just doing it myself. But you can truly build an entire business using social media. His program focuses on Facebook and Instagram. You can apply this to LinkedIn. You can certainly do Snapchat. You can do the others, but his program focuses on those two. Um, the reason why we love these social media tools for one it's 24 hours a day seven days a week so you can literally reach out to people all day every single day without actually having to reach out to them Jim's program is also going to keep us very streamlined so that you're extremely well organized and you're only spending a certain amount of time to do this we're all super super busy so he breaks it down so the best thing you can do for yourself is to follow this program exactly. Don't try to change anything. Don't try to, to, to do something a little bit different. And just if you guys could do me a favor and go ahead and mute out. It's, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, let's see. Whoopsie. Don't want to do that yet. I was going to try to mute out. Oh, I can't see my chat at this point the way that I am. So if you guys have the ability to mute out or tell someone if they need to be muted out, that'd be great. Thank you, guys. Um, okay. Um, so um, Damon and Angela are perfect examples of people that have taken this program and run with it. Damon, would you say that you follow his program 90 to 100%? Oh, I would, I would probably say 100%. I, okay. I veered, veered off of anything he's done. Everything he said, uh, make it small, uh, short, sweet, even to the, the pounds lost and amount of time not putting them together. I, I've, I've followed everything on it. So, yeah, I, I would 100%. <laughs> Beautiful. And if you guys are not watching Damon's success, you need to start watching that. Let's give a quick little recognition. If you guys want to unmute just super, super, super fast. Damon and Angela just ranked advanced to director. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations, <laughs> Damon and Angela. And Great job. And, and you've excelled and you're just continuing and you're just pumping out consultants after consultants. But at the same time, every person that you're bringing in loves the program. They're, they're becoming consultants. They're getting paid. They're bringing in people who are getting paid. You're getting your people paid. So it's not just Damon and Angela making a paycheck. We've got some, so many of their people getting paid too. Roger and Lucas are on the phone. Brand spanking new. Roger, Lucas, say hello real fast. And if anyone else, I can't see hello, hello. Right now. All right. These are 20 year olds at Indiana hello. University of Indiana. They just got their product yesterday. And, and between them, I think they have already enrolled about 13 people, correct? Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to meet 15 now. Team my team, yeah. Right? That's exactly it. So they're following Damon and Angela's plan. Damon is following Jim Lufkin's plan. So you guys got to see the magic in all of this. And, and don't try to do anything different. Just follow it exactly. Your life will never be easier if you just do what someone tells you to do. And that's where we're at in today's world. We don't want to think too much. So Jim has made this program so you don't have to think at all. <laughs> you just do. You just us millennials, millennials love that. What's that? I said us millennials love that. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I haven't added up all of their money yet, but between promotions, cycles, bonuses, and everything, I think Roger and Lucas have made about $400, and they got their product yesterday. They found out about Isogenics last Friday. All right? You get the concept here? <laughs> All right. Don't second guess anything. Just do. And the beautiful thing that I love about what this team is creating is it's extremely consistent. I don't even have to question how they're doing it. I really truly don't even have to look at how they're doing it. You know, did they put someone on the left, someone on the right? Did that person upgrade to associate? Is that person going to for sure become a consultant? It's all done. They already know it and they're already teaching it. And, and that's the most beautiful thing about this. So let's get rocking and rolling. All right. Okay, so a um, couple, couple of quick little nuggets that I want to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and get on my Facebook so you can see this. 
Where's my Facebook? All right, well, we'll just go this way. All right, great. You guys all see my Facebook? Can you guys all see my Facebook? Yes. Okay, great. I can't see you guys. Let me try to go back to that. Okay, now I can see you guys. All right, great. Uh, all right, first, number one thing is our brain gets so acclimated to seeing pictures and text, but it understands pictures and, and color much more. So it is so important for you guys to get a good headshot. It doesn't have to be professional, just a good headshot that stands out, shoulders up, your whole face, nobody else in the picture where you're looking directly at them. You can do something funky if you guys wanna look up. Well, here, let me show you Jim Lupkin. All right, I'll show you what he looks like. You wanna stand out. So you see that? He's got that orange and yellow and black, not looking at the camera, but from shoulder up. All right, that's what you wanna create because as you quickly scroll through, because this is what everybody else does, as you quickly scroll through, you will stop and look at the person who you like, trust, and respect that you wanna see what they have to say, okay? So real important, our whole goal is to create a massive number of people who love, trust, and respect you. And so we have to do that with the brain waves so that they stop and look at your posts, all right? So number one thing, and you never ever change it. Pick one that you never have to change. You can change your cover picture as many times as you want, Changing your cover picture is great because that creates a lot of new likes, comments, new people will see it. Um, so that creates a lot of energy and movement, but never your profile. Um, all right, so with that, how do we wanna take you? All right, now we're gonna start. Um, first thing we wanna do is we wanna get your friends list um, really nice and high. You want your friends list, list to be about 2,000 or more. Um, and I'm, I'm just a little over 2,000, so I'm working on it. Um, but you need to focus on it every day. And every single day, all you need to do is set a timer for 10 minutes, and you friend request 10 people. All right? So you need to do a little bit of research. It's going to take you about a minute per person. In the beginning, you're not going to go that fast. In the beginning, you're gonna be about three to five minutes. But as you get to do this, and you do it consistently, you'll get faster and faster. It becomes extremely addictive. Damon, would you say that you're pretty addicted right now to doing friend requests and reaching out to new people? Right? It becomes this way. And I don't know if we have Fiona or Heather Lyons on the phone. I know Jody is on the line. Those three also took off with Jim's program without a question and are really growing incredible businesses. But also the thing that a lot of people have realized, um, everyone's going to be in this for different reasons. So if your whole thing is to be build a massive business, then you just follow this program. If you're trying to build friends and build true relationships and really connect with people, you're going to do that. But you might do it a little bit slower. So don't worry too much about how much time takes you. You have to find your rhythm and what works for you. But everyone's going to do this for different reasons. So like Heather and Jody, what they learned, and Fiona, what they learned more about this program was they really wanted to learn how to build relationships. They wanted to come out of their shell. They wanted to learn how to talk to people. What those three people, well, two people learned, they were extreme introverts. And what they learned is they could actually come out of their shell, call people, have belly-to-belly -belly conversations, go up to a stranger, ask a question, and act, have them learn about them. So everyone's going to do this for different reasons. All right, so we want to build up the friends list. All right, one quick, super quick way to do that is to go on your friends and you become friends. Well, and these are all gonna say friends, but you become friends with all of their friends. So let's see if I can, okay, so, all right, I don't wanna pick on anyone that's on this call. All right, I don't know this guy, he only has 27 friends, he obviously needs my help. Um, we're gonna look at his friend list, and unless he has it set up to public, now, what I want all of you to do to protect yourself is you can open up all of your stuff 
who sees your posts, who sees your timeline, who can friend request you, all of that. Open that up to public. And Jim will actually walk you through that on his platform. However, the one area that's extremely important is to take your friends off public. And only you can see your friends list. Okay? So important because honestly, you don't want other people to do what I'm going to teach you to do. <laughs> Everybody laugh for a second. <laughs> All right? But this is sales and that's how it works. Um, so I could then go into Fred's friends and private message. I'm not going to add. All right. I only want to add people who are interested in what I have to offer. All right. But I'm going to go into Tom Mason and I'm going to just real quick look through his profile. Here's what I look at. I'm going to look at how many friends does he have? All right. He doesn't say, but he has 16 mutual. So I like that a lot. He's in Phoenix. He looks like he's a real estate or he's a mortgage. So he's a lender. So he's in a different industry that I'm in. Here's someone that I know. He's got interesting posts. He's mixing it with personal and business. I like it. Would I like him? If I met him at a party, would I want to have a conversation with him? That's how I base who I want to connect with on Facebook. If I look, and this is just speaking from me as a woman, if I look at their Facebook posts, and they're not that attractive of a man, and all they have are beautiful women, friends, not interested, all right? They're friend requesting particular people who they're not really truly having relationships with, they're just trying to fantasize about those women. So if you guys don't know me real well, you're gonna know I'm really real and raw, and these are when I get really fired up and pumped up. So you might hear me say stuff, and that's perfectly fine. All right, so what I like about him is he has 1,400 friends, 16 are mutual. Love that, love his posts. So then I'm gonna to go to message, and I'm gonna be like, hi, Tom. And I'm not gonna do this because I wanna get through this real fast, but what I would say, is and um and the platform walks you through exactly what to say that's why i love this program again you don't have to think hey tom i'm a real estate agent here in phoenix i see that we have 16 mutual friends including one being and i'd pick someone who i really truly do like and maybe give a short story would love to become friends with you on facebook i love to get to know people in the industry period stephanie all right, so for isogenics purposes, if they're not in your, a different industry or you don't go to school with them or anything like that, hey, Tom, um, I wanted to reach out to you on Facebook and friend request you. I love meeting new people in the area who live a healthy lifestyle. Hope we can become friends on Facebook, period, Stephanie. All right, uh, another one. Um, they don't live in the same area as you, but you know something about them. Hey, Susie. I saw you on Facebook. We have a mutual friend, so-and-so. I love to reach out to people who, who have a fun family life, and you look like you certainly do. Hope we can become friends on Facebook, period, Stephanie. So it's real important that you say, want to become friends on Facebook because you honestly don't want to become, I mean, I don't want to say this, but most likely you're tr not necessarily trying to become friends with them and hook up and, and go places. You're going through the masses. You're trying to build your friends list, but you're trying to build it in a way that you do be have a relationship that with them on Facebook. Now, if they have an interest in what you offer, then meet up with them, sit down and have coffee or something like that. Then you become more. But in the beginning, you're not trying to let them think, hey, I'm looking for friends, because for one, that could be a stalker. Um, number two, you don't have time to just hook up with people if they're not interested in what you're doing. So be real honest. Hey, I'm looking for some more friends on Facebook who have a mutual friend or a mutual interest. As soon as you say you have a mutual friend or a mutual interest, their wall goes down. All right, and it doesn't matter if it's male or female. There's always a wall up. Why is this person connecting with me? What do they want? I don't have time for new friends. What am I gonna gain out of this? So you answer that question for them right up front, and you just keep it really nice and cool. Hey, I live in the area. I like meeting new people on Facebook. I can't wait to get to see your posts. Simple, all right? I'm not watching the chat, 
So if you guys are chatting with me, um, go ahead and unmute, or if you wanna highlight your question and unmute at the end, that's great. I'm just jamming through as much as I can. So you can do that forever, all right? If you, if you don't know where to find friends, you just go to every single one of your friends and look at their friends and mutual friend, <laughs> all right? You can do it forever. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you can say, you can graph search. So maybe you're trying to do something in, in particular. People who love health and live in Phoenix. All right, I'm gonna go to people. And I can't find anything. So let's just say people who, oops, people who live in Phoenix. Um, this may or may not always work. So I don't like you to spend a ton of time with it. See, like there's one, all right? So that doesn't really work. Um, let's see, people, people who, people who blocked me. Uh, okay, how about people who inspire us? Uh, so what you're looking for really, and this isn't gonna work, but you get the point. Um, you're just trying to find people with a mutual interest. So somewhere you have a mutual friend or a mutual interest. So you guys can play around with that all day long. People who live in Scottsdale. All right, so here's, here's some of my friends, okay? So I could just go bam and look at their friends. I could do all of that. I could just sit there and go through all of that. These are gonna bring up all my friends first. And then it's gonna bring up my non-friends, but I have a lot, so it might take a while to go through all of those. So you can see how you never, ever run out of friends as long as you apply this. Now, the, the whole way to really truly organize this is to stay organized. Pick the number of friends you're gonna reach out to, because not only are you gonna look at their profile, friend request them, send a message, they're gonna send a message back, you've gotta answer that. So you've gotta schedule your time accordingly. So is it three people, 10 people, five people? I chose five people a day. That worked out great for me. Jim does 30 people a day. So it's whatever level you wanna take this to. But set your timer and make sure you go through it super duper quick. And again, if they're not someone that you wanna to talk to if you're at a party, you do not friend them. All right, then of course we get all kinds of other friend requests. You flip flop that, reverse that exact same way look at their profile, look at their friend number, look at their about, look at all of that and find out would I wanna be friends with them at a party? And if the answer is no, then you do not accept their friendship. Now, um, I've had a lot of men try to friend request me and immediately what I will do is look at that and if they're sketchy at all, I just block them. All right, girls, I wanna tell you, don't spend the time that I did trying to find out would they have an interest in what I have to offer. They don't, none of it's ever worked out. They're just spamming for girls. So just make sure you just go through that. Would you wanna have a conversation with them at a party? All right, um, your about section. I'm gonna kinda go back and forth, guys, because there's so much information, but I'm gonna go with what I can see. Now you're about. People need to fall in love with you. They need to like, trust, and respect you. Nobody buys from people that they don't like, trust, and respect anymore, especially on Facebook and social media. And guys, Facebook is going to become pretty much an all-network marketing company at some point, just all kinds of different people. We truly believe, and we're seeing this in all kinds of ways, through Amazon and all kinds of different scenarios, that, that our entire world is going to become network marketing at some point. So get ahead of the, day, the game. Get yourself all set up and ready to go. And the way you do that is having people fall in love with you. So you need to go into um, your, your edit profile and you need to get this all set up. You go through everything. You need your statement, your bio, something real quick, just a little ex explanation of who you are. I don't change mine very often, but you can. Um, it's the first thing people are going to see. Your favorite pictures. Now, I do need to change those. These are a year old at this point. So I need to change that. You need to put in your work experience. And what we suggest is every single job you have ever had, 
all right, 14, 15, 16 years old, you need to list all of those. Because anyone doing a search, trying to find someone, maybe that worked at, my first job was Jewel Grocery Store. Hey, people who worked at Jewel Grocery Store, I'm gonna come up. The whole point is we need people to find us, all right? Anything we do, as easy as possible. So you add in every single job you've ever done. You add in every single piece of education you've ever had. Your current city, your previous cities, who you're married to, your hometown, uh, and the rest is all there. So let's see, let's edit our about info now. All right, so you can go in and edit that. I need to, I need to add this. Guys, you always are constantly adding to this. I had this up and perfect seven months ago, I need to go in and do it again. All right, so it's something that you're constantly getting in, maybe like every six months you're getting in and doing more stuff. All right, um, all right, videos. This is an area, and I haven't updated this for a super long time, but it's gonna show your videos. So all the different videos you do are gonna be here. Check-ins, this is a huge way of finding new people. Again, if you wanna reach out to people in your area, and for the Indiana people, I know you guys wanna take over the entire state of Indiana. Same thing with the Columbus. Um, go in and everywhere you go, check in. Add a little statement, add a little selfie, add a picture, whatever you wanna add. But the reason why you check in is because you'll see all of your friends that have checked in there. All right, over here, it's gonna show you all the other people. I have 86 friends who have checked in to the Sheraton. All right, if I just wanna go in there and find out who those friends are, super easy. All right, and if I wanna just say, hey, I noticed that you've gone to the Sheraton, I have too. How do you like the Sheraton? That's cheesy, come up with something better, but I'm just giving you some easy stuff right now. All right, so go. let's go back to about and edit. All right, check in. So check in with everywhere you go. Sports, all right, that's a huge way to connect with people, especially if you're a sports fan. Obviously, I'm not a huge sports fan, so I don't have a whole lot going on, but add your teams and add the high school, the, the community college, all of the different sports teams that you like or have participated in. Because let's just say for an example, you wrestled in Indiana high school, and you, wanna, and you graduated and now you've moved on, you want to reconnect with some of those wrestlers you could just type in people who wrestled at it, the Indiana high school and you'd find all those people okay so music again people look at you they want to know who you are and again if they're gonna do a quick little search like we're teaching you and you're gonna to do to other people they need to relate to you so put in as much of these, this stuff as you possibly can. Not going to go through the rest. You guys can do all of that on your own. It's, you know, a good hour to spend doing that. All right. Um, all right. So add a friend. Send a message immediately. Now you also want to organize these friends. All right. So Annie, let's see. So can you guys all see my screen okay? Thumbs up. Okay, cool. All right, so I went to a particular friend, and then I went to the friend box up here. Now I can add her to a list. Andy is listed as a close friend and an acquaintance, but I can also add her to another list. I need to completely organize my list again, but just to kind of give you an idea, some ways that I organize people. And when you friend request them, and you have a relationship established with them, you then categorize them. So you only add them as a friend if you liked their profile and their posts, they responded to you, or it's someone you really want to respond to you, and you give them an opportunity. All right, so these are some of my different categories. I've got Isagenics, I have a previous business, um, somewhat previous business, my high school, college, you guys can see all of that. Now I went in, and this is what I've done with Jim. I also, now anyone I send a sample to goes in my sample category. Anyone I'm rebuilding my relationship with, say I haven't talked to them for more than 90 days, 
I'm rebuilding a relationship with them. I put them in there. If I know them through real estate, if they're a prospect, is it someone that I prospected but it hasn't gone any further yet? They become a prospect. As soon as they become an associate, they go into the associate. Okay, um, now if they haven't responded, so everyone that you send a message to that you truly want to build a relationship with and you've added as a friend, but they haven't responded to you yet, you automatically put them in as did not respond until they respond. And then you categorize them. Okay, so I sent them a sample. Cool, they liked that. So now I put them in, now they're a customer or now they're associate. All right, so you get the point. You're constantly messing around with this organization, but it saves you so much time. You know exactly who they are. You know exactly who to connect with. So if you have an hour and you just want to connect with those that you sent samples to, or you want to connect with those that you need to rebuild a relationship with, or you choose Monday to connect with samples, or Tuesday, rebuild relationship, Wednesday, and so on. So you can do this pretty fast. All right, so that's how you organize. And again, some of the stuff is going to take a lot of time in the beginning, but it will go so quick when you actually get it down. All right, next up, um, everything should be taken offline as quickly as possible. So what we did right now is we just taught you connection. Now I'm going to teach you communication and conversation, and that is private messaging people. So you really, truly don't want to do a ton of stuff on your actual, I mean, you do, but you don't. It's, they're just different things. You wanna, anytime you're building a relationship with someone, it's private message. As soon as they list something out on your post and they wanna connect with you, great, I'm gonna private message you. And you take it offline. All right, when you say happy birthday to people, and this is part of the program, is to reach out and say happy birthday to everybody that has a birthday that day. You're going to have a lot of relationships built with people just because you said happy birthday. But you have to do it privately in order for you to stand up. If you just do it as a post, you're just another one of their 100, 200, 300 friends that said happy birthday. But if you send them a private message, you're like, oh, cool. That was nice. I like to send a little video of my kids singing happy birthday. Michael Anderson personally sings happy birthday. Whatever you want to do, or just even a simple happy birthday. Um, but make sure you do that. It's another way to stand out and have people like, trust, and respect you. All right. Um, okay. When you are in the beginning process of building this relationship, you do not talk isogenics until they take you there. Right now, you're just friend requesting. You're just building the relationship, finding out what you have in common, starting a conversation. But there are certain questions you can do that lead them to ask you about your business. Jim walks you through all of those in detail. But for an example, so you start talking to someone, maybe you went to high school with them. So great, what are you, what are you doing? What are you up to in high school or after high school? Are you married? What do you do for a living? Um, what do you do for fun? You know, are from, family, occupation, you guys know what that is. Uh, and then they're going to say the same thing back to you. So are you married? Are you working? What do you do for a living? What do you do for fun? Then you get the opportunity to bring isogenics into play. Hey, I'm with a great nutrition company. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked. If you do want any information about it, I am totally passionate about it. We are building teams like crazy. Whatever direction you're going, are you building the products? Are you building the financial part of it? Whatever direction you're going, you do that in your conversation because that's what you're doing. All right? Not everyone is going to want what you offer. So make sure you offer both product and the income ability. But, may, but you know, go the direction that they want. You always meet them where they are at. But start with your direction. All right? Um, all right. So if it's less than 90 days, that's if it's more than 90 days. If it's less than 90 days, say hi. And then, you know, just ask them about their involvement. Um, so it's very similar. You're just taking a little bit more time. All right, so every day, friend requests 10 people, spend 10 minutes, or at least get to the point where you're spending 10 minutes. All right, now on your posts. Your posts, you have to be diligent about your posts. If you do not post, 
or if you're not posting about yourself, people don't know you. So in the real estate industry, and I kind of dug back into the real estate industry because I wanted to go this direction with them. Um, they are so on top of how many friends they have. It's all about getting 4,000, 5,000 friends. But I ask them every time, how many of those people know you? How many of those people know about your family? How many of those people know what you do for a living, right? And if they don't know, it makes no, it's not worth anything having that many friends, right? So a lot of times you'll see these posts of people and all they are is doing a motivational statement or they're copy pasting from somewhere else or a flyer or a picture or something. There's nothing personal about them. Think about that a little bit. Is that someone that you want to go talk to at a party? Oh, because there's nothing there, right? Do you guys walk away when you meet someone at a party and they're like, uh, do you sit there and talk to them, try and make a conversation? No, you walk away, right? Same exact thing. This is, this is interactive. This is if they interest you, if they're creative, if they have something interesting. If you like them, that's when you're going to talk to them. So make sure your posts are the exact same thing. All right. When we talk to people, we want to be interested not interesting but on our facebook posts we must be interesting all right so you've got to do things to show them about you so it's 80 percent personal 20 percent business people don't want to be sold all day brian fryer will tell you when you wake up in the morning and you start looking at your facebook and you're still laying in bed do you really truly want to look at a sales product and would you actually buy it if you saw it, probably not, right? So we don't want to be those people. That turns people off. We want to have them love, trust, and respect us, know what we do, and when they have a need for what we do, they contact us. Or from us reaching out to them in a private message, you're directly, directly asking them, would you like to know more about what I do? But you've got to intrigue them, all right? So you can just kind of scroll through. Um, certain weeks, I'm a little bit more 80% business and 20% personal if we've got a lot of promotions going on, which is right now. So here's what I've got. Otherwise, like last week, we did it. So last week, I'm much more personal. All right, so you can kind of scroll through that. There's our boys from Indiana. Check it out. There's Damon and Angela. All right, so um, you want to really be specific about your posts, but don't think about it too much. We don't have time. The whole point of Facebook, if you're doing it for this reason, is to fill the gaps and fill your funnel as ma most as you can, and you have massive numbers of people. All right? So, um, so that's real important. Always post something, at least one to two things every single day on your personal page. Now, I'm going to talk about groups. Real fast, or next session, I'll talk about groups because we're almost done. But with groups, you've got to post in there too. If you're a part of a group and you're asking people to come into our group, such as Game Changers Healthy Living, but you're not posting in there, you're not showing yourself as a leader. When you invite someone into your life, you're inviting them because they want to follow you. You have to show yourself as a leader. So you've got to be visible personal wall and your group pages and, and group um, areas. They're called groups. Um, so real important that you're out there. The things that capture people's attention are before and after pictures, before and after stories, information that they can put to use, something of value. Now, people always love kids. All right, that's a big thing. You know, here I got 16 um, likes on this and about four comments. People relate to that. So if it's something relatable, then they're going to they're gonna go out and they're going to show you. All right. Um, let's see. Recognition. Recognition is a huge one. People love to see recognition. We don't get enough recognition in our lives. And so when someone recognizes someone else, usually puts a smile on their face and they're happy. At least those are the people we want to be associated with, right? So recognition is huge. So, okay, we have 30, 35, 36 likes and quite a few comments. Um, people love these statements that I bring in from Growth You. I get them directly from Growth You. This is the one that doesn't 
give back the recognition. Sorry, Rod Harrison. Normally, I put Growth You on that so people know it's Growth You and not me. But people love these, and I'm consistent with it. I've even had someone, he's not any of these comments. Nope, usually he comments. But I even have had a gentleman from high school not interested in my business. I've asked him a few times, but he tells me pretty regularly, thank you so much for your posts every day. I get up in the morning, and I, I look forward to what you have to say. That's what you want. You want people to look for your posts. Again, keeping your profile picture the same so they can find you fast. You want people to follow you. You want them to gain value from what you have to offer. That's when you get the following. All right, you definitely have to share life experiences. People need to know you. So important. All right, so you're gonna go through a lot of stuff. Um, what um, Jim suggested you do is you take five minutes again, set the timer, take five minutes, and you go in, other, um, you just go into your news feed, and you like and comment for five minutes. All right, you jam it out as quickly as you possibly can. It's not that we're robots, and it's not that we don't care about people's lives, but right now you're on a mission. And you're on a mission to build this business as fast and as large as you possibly can. So you've got to do things to do that. So set your timer, jam out the likes and the comments. Now, not just like, all right, Facebook is savvy, and they're not going to give you any credit for that. They want to see comments. And honestly, they want to see three word or more comments. So you kind of have to think a little bit now, but get it done as quickly as you possibly can. All right, and you just kind of jam through here and, and do a bunch of different things, all right? So, you know, just like and comment, all right? I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what to do there. All right, um, okay, so. All right, groups, going into the groups. All right, so this is super important. I think you guys are all in Game Changers Healthy Living. So important that you follow a structure. And we have a checklist. If you have not received this, the checklist on how to treat a customer and also how to treat a business builder, please just let me know and we'll send you that checklist. We put it out there here and there. But you've got to follow a system and you just get it done. I'm not gonna go through the entire system, I'm gonna focus on Facebook. So as soon as you have someone that's interested, ask them, hey, can I put you in our private Facebook group? I'd love to share some stories with you, some pictures of people who are really doing great with this program. Feel free to ask any questions. Most of the time, 99% they will say yes. So you add them right up here in the upper right-hand corner. You have to be friends with them. Then welcome them. All right, people love to be loved. This is the whole part and the whole purpose of having a group is so that people feel the love. Give it to them. And if you don't welcome them, nobody knows they're there. All right, it's your responsibility. And you can go back at any time. If you haven't done it for a few people, no big deal. Just go back today or tomorrow and take care of that. But welcome them to the group. You see a ton of us doing it, right? Here's Damon right here. So whatever you want to say, if you want to include a picture of them or something to catch attention, certainly go right ahead. If you know something about them that other team members are going to relate to or a specific question that they have, put it in there. And guys, as a community, if you guys can really truly read these welcomes and answer, because a lot of times we'll put in there, hey, can you tell us a little bit about your energy? We're really, truly, as the person putting them in, I need your comments in order to give them that social proof. So instead of just going in and welcome, if you read that and you're like, hey, welcome, I've gained so much energy, I'm like a little energizer bunny right now. That's going to give that person social proof that they want to be a part of this. So what I do helps you, what you do helps me, what you do helps the entire team. We work together, and that's why groups it's so important that you have a large number. Groups need to be 1,500 people or more, really, truly, before you do your own group. You don't even want to begin thinking about it until you have 100 people interacting, because otherwise, it's just you. And trust me, I started off with it, just me. Jill Bowman started off with it, just her. So it grows into it, but start with a really nice large group so you get that social proof so it goes faster.
all right? Um, now, um, right here, just so you know, in our group, we have the 14-day talk. Um, it, this tells them exactly what's going to happen in 14 days and how they're going to feel. It's really not any different for any one person. They're going to experience that. So just go ahead and tag them. You know, tag them, put their name. Hey, check this out. Read through this. This is how you're going to feel. Part of the tools. We don't need to recreate. You don't need to spend half an hour going over that. Tag them, let them read it, let them understand it. You're about massive action. All right, we're just about out of time. I'm gonna give you as much more as I can. Um, all right, uh, powerful. Those that are thinking about becoming a customer. Okay, so you put anyone into Game Changers, you welcome them, um, you wanna follow up with them. You want to ask them, hey, how's it going? Have you had a chance to get into the group? Have you read through any of the posts? Never, ever, ever, a sales question is never, ever, do you like it? You never ask that question for anything you're trying to sell. You ask very specific questions. Uh, um, hey, have you gotten a chance to go inside and check it out? What have been some of your favorite posts? Have you found a favorite product? What about that product intrigues you? Have you noticed a story that's very comfortable and familiar to your situation? Who was that? Get them to interact with you. If they just say yes or no, you're not going anywhere. You gotta have that interaction, all right? And if you have specific team members that you want to tag because you specifically want them to listen and to report in and be a part of that social proof or tell a story and to validate what you're saying, tag them. And guys, if you're tagged, please make sure that you respond because the person that tagged you is really hoping and praying and expecting you to help out and participate with that. They did that on purpose. So be careful. You don't just go ahead and tag anyone and everyone all the time. Keep it for specific reasons. All right. So be involved. Really, really important. Um, I'm going to tell you that um, anyone that is involved and that feels the love in the community and the support are gonna stay. If they are not involved, they don't get on our Game Changers page or a different product page. If they are not involved in the comments or likes and maybe they just scroll every once in a while, they're probably not gonna stay. Retention rate is low, but when you get them involved and they become part of the community, I always tell people when they first get started, if you truly want to receive your results and you really truly want to get these goals, get involved with the group. Say hi, reach out, look at the post, make comments. By being involved, you will exceed and you will succeed with your results. It's a community and they're gonna keep you here. And guys, it's so very, very true. All of you on the team call are also involved in posting. So just make sure it, it works both ways and tell your people to. People will do what you tell them to do. And remember also that people will do 50% of what you do. They'll do 100% of what you don't do. All right, so with that, that's all I have time for today. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what kind of questions you guys have. I'm going to stop sharing. All right, let's get your questions, comments, and control the light. All right, any questions, comments from you guys about anything that you heard tonight? Are you all uh, overwhelmed? <laughs> You're all on mute. Stephanie, I got a question. Yes, please. Is it possible, uh, where do I find that, you said something about a list for the, um, I can't remember, you had two lists you talked about. Yeah, where, where do I find that? Yeah, I'll, I'll just send that out again. Okay, thank you. Because um, I uh, Stacia also asked, so not a problem. Good, and I'm, I'm only seeing a couple chats. I don't know if there are any more. Okay, good. Other questions or, or uh, any, anything you guys want to discuss? There's so much more, as you guys know, with this. Also, um, Jim has, um, he did four videos for us, and they're all about an hour and 40 minutes long. They're powerful. I have them all. So if you haven't had a chance to watch them or if you want to re-watch them, they're in the Facebook um, Game Changers Facebook. 
and you can just go in there. If you're not invited in there, just let me know and I'll invite you. Most of you will have been invited. Um, but you can go watch all of his videos again, or if you go into Game Changers Biz, um, and then just search Jim Lepkin, most of his should start coming up. That's right, exactly. And that's you, Angela, right? Um, not Damon, right? Okay, yep, I've started reaching out via Facebook. It was scary, but worth it. Um, cool, two people signed up. Exactly. It becomes really addicting. And that's the thing. You just really learn how fun it is to connect with people. And Jody, we talked about that earlier today. When you're in action and when you're actually reaching out to people, you don't let yourself think and you don't go through those emotions and those imbalances if you're always constantly in action. So if you guys follow that schedule of five minutes, like, comment, 10 minutes, friend request, um, do your own posts. Uh, and then come back and do some more friend requests later on in the afternoon if you want more than 10 or if you didn't get your 10. You're always in action. All right, cool. Anything else for right now? What were you talking about, the Game Changers Facebook page? What is that? Well, the Game Changers Healthy Living and Game Changers Biz. So just oh, healthy okay. living in this case. So Game Changers Biz, and we'll find the videos from Jim Lumpkin in there? Yep. Okay. Yep. Perfect. All right, Christina and Mary Kay have a amped um, Zoom call. Did you guys all? Uh, did you guys all know about that? Is everybody jumping on? Okay, I'm going to give you guys the code. Hold on for the trial. So I'll put this out here again. But right now it's a dollar. He's going to be taking that off real soon. But for right now. The code is and hopefully I have this right. If I don't, let me know right there. And I'll send that out again. And then you can just, you just sign up with the coupon $1. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and join Christina Mary Kay. Let me know how this goes. Talk about it out loud. Talk about it in biz. Um, we definitely want to get everybody on the same page with this and using it all the time. Because like Damon and Angela have experienced, it works. It truly, truly works. And you don't have the mind games because you're always in action. All right, guys. Cool. Anyone else? All right. See you guys all soon. Have a great night.